Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. When sending Bitcoin, a fee is attached to the transaction. And the reason this is so is so that there is an incentive for miners on the network to add your transaction onto the block that will be added onto the blockchain. When a miner is on the network, they're not part of a company, they're not employed, they don't have to add your transaction. They don't have to do anything really, so there needs to be an incentive. So when they see a transaction attached with a nice fee, they'll say, hey, you know what? I will add this transaction because I see a fee and this will act as my incentive. And the fee for Bitcoin, the transaction, is not calculated the way that you might think it is. When it comes to an online transaction, usually the fee is a percentage, maybe with a credit card, 2% or 3%. But with Bitcoin, it doesn't work this way. Bitcoin's fee, the transaction fee, it's not based on the value of the transaction, but instead it's based on the size of the transaction in Satoshis per byte. Now you won't need to understand this for this video, I just want you to understand the concept. So it has to do with Bitcoin's UTXO model, which has to do with inputs and outputs, and the more inputs and the more outputs, the more expensive the transaction fee will become. So like I said, you don't have to understand the technicalities of this, but just understand that it's not based off of the value or something, but instead the size of the transaction. This is why we have seen in the past, Bitfinex was able to send $1.1 billion worth of Bitcoin for only 68 cents. So it's not a percentage, but instead a size of the transaction. So luckily we don't have to calculate these transaction fees. It's usually done for us on exchanges. So sometimes we send a Bitcoin transaction and it might be taking a long time for it to go through. And we wonder, when is it going to go through? Why is this happening? Well, the first thing to do is just simply to wait. You need to wait at least 10 minutes for a Bitcoin transaction to be added to the next block. But even when you send a, a fair fee, it might take some time. You know, it could take an hour or two. So just wait it out. And again, this, this has to do with the, the fee that you're paying. If you pay a very high fee, you can almost be guaranteed that your transaction will be added to the next block. And in addition to this, it also has to do with the congestion of the network or the demand of the network. If there are so many people that are wanting to send a Bitcoin transaction, miners have to pick and choose which one will I add to my block. So same thing with the fees. If there's obviously a higher fee, the miner will choose that fee. If there's two transactions, one has a fee of $2 and the other has a fee of 10 cents, of course the miner will choose a transaction that has a fee of $2. But like I just said, usually we don't have to worry about this fee. Exchanges, if you're sending a Bitcoin from an exchange, the exchange does this for you. And these will change over time because over time the demand will change. So the fees can go higher or lower. So almost every single exchange has a withdrawal fee. And when you send cryptocurrency from a withdrawal fee, likely it will be confirmed. You know, maybe not instantly, but it will eventually be confirmed and it will be sent to the next wallet. Even when you're not using an exchange and you're using your own wallet, such as a ledger, they give you the options of different fees. Right within ledger, they show high fee, you know, high, which is a fast confirmation with a higher fee, standard, low, and then custom fees. So for the most part, if you use an exchange or you use the recommendations of the wallet you're using, your transaction will go through, someone will pick it up. But sometimes we get into a scenario where people really go around all of this. You really have to go out of your way and they use a custom fee, a very low fee, that's just too low that no one wants to pick up that transaction and it, it's gonna be unconfirmed and it's not going to be sent and you might be wondering where did the transaction go? But right before we get into where did that transaction go or what do you do about it, I do wanna give you a super helpful tip. So I said almost all exchanges charge a withdrawal fee. I said all because there is one that, that, that has no withdrawal fee and that's Coinbase Pro. So not Coinbase, but Coinbase Pro. They cover the withdrawal fee for you. So a simple thing that you can do if you have a Coinbase account, like most people do, it's free to sign up for a Coinbase Pro account and they're connected together. You're not really creating a brand new account with brand new information. Once you have a Coinbase account, you can easily create a Coinbase Pro account and they're linked together. So once you're in Coinbase Pro, if you just click on deposit, you'll have different options of how to deposit money or cryptocurrency into your 
into your application. But because Coinbase Pro and Coinbase are connected, when you click deposit, you'll have the option to simply transfer your funds from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. And now you can send your money from Coinbase Pro to any wallet for free, zero fees. So coming back to our question, what if your transaction is never confirmed? You're just waiting a long time. Maybe you waited a day, maybe you waited two days and it still didn't go through. What happened to your Bitcoin? Many people worry and they think it's lost. I'm never going to have it, it's gone forever. But luckily this is not the case. Bitcoin, your Bitcoin that's unconfirmed, eventually will come back to you. When you send a transaction on Bitcoin, it goes to a mempool, a mempool of a lot of different transactions and miners can take these transactions and add them to their blocks. But like we spoke about, if the fee is just too low, you went out of your way to make such a low fee, no one will want to pick up your transaction. So it'll, it'll stay in the mempool. But over time, you know, it could take sometimes days, it could take seven days, sometimes it could even take two to three weeks. Over time, it will eventually be forgotten. No one will pick it up, they'll erase it from their mempool and it will be returned to your wallet. So if you send Bitcoin with a low fee and it's never confirmed, no one else has it. You don't have it at the moment, even though it's technically still yours. It might take some time until it gets erased from the mempool and then it will return to your wallet. But let's say you are waiting so long. Let's say you're waiting more than two or three weeks, or let's say you really need that money right away. You don't have time to wait two to three weeks. What can you do? Well, another option is you can use a Bitcoin accelerator. A Bitcoin accelerator are, is a service ran by mining pools where you can submit your transaction ID and you can accelerate your Bitcoin transaction. Your transaction ID will be shown on the exchange or will be shown on your wallet and you simply just enter it here and you could submit it. And one of the most popular places to do this is via btc.com. So you can submit it for free. There are some rules though for submitting it for free. On their website, you can see there needs to be a minimum fee attached to that transaction for them even to consider accelerating it. And also there are some rules. They only accelerate 100 free transactions per hour and they ask that you please, quote, resubmit your transaction at the next new hour for it to actually work. But many people look at these free services and they criticize them. They say it doesn't really work, but there's nothing to lose. It is free. So if you want your transaction to be accelerated, you might as well try this and see if it works. But let's say it's not working and you really need it to go through. You can use these services, but they're paid version. So on Via BTC, there is a paid version where you can submit your transaction ID and attach another fee to it, and then it will be picked up. Other free places you can do this are BitAccelerate and also 360 Bitcoin Accelerator. And you might be wondering, why are they doing this for free? Well, they're not really doing it for free because they do ask for donations. You know, if your transaction went through, they ask to keep the service free for you to make a donation and people actually will donate if, you know, their transaction goes through. But let's say you're in the situation where it's just been so long and you really need that money. You don't have time to wait for it to be returned to your wallet. You don't have three weeks. You don't even have maybe seven days. You need that money sent right away then you'll wanna go with a paid service. But these paid services come at a hefty price. They can be extremely expensive. Another very popular Bitcoin transaction accelerator is on btc.com or pushtx.btc.com where you can enter your transaction hash and accelerate. But the fee can be $50, $100, even $200. So this is something obviously you want to avoid. But if you sent a transaction of let's say $10,000, or $20,000 and you really went out of your way to make an extremely low fee that no one wants to pick up this transaction, then maybe it might be worth it for you to spend $100 to speed up a $20,000 transaction. But to avoid all of this headache, prevention is key. If you're sending your Bitcoin through an exchange, through their recommended fee, or if you're sending Bitcoin through a wallet through their recommended fee, then you most likely will avoid this headache. But if you do unfortunately get into the situation, you can either wait it out, it could be seven days, it could be a few weeks for it to actually return to your wallet, or you can use one of these Bitcoin accelerators. 
I hope that you found value in this video. If you like this content, go down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.